This is excellent grizzly bear habitat and weather. I don't really like hiking in the fog, but I really want to go hiking. Seeing elk and moose in the fog. Got to be careful going over a hump like this. Seems like there's always a bear on the other side. Well, I don't think I'll go down into there right now. Go wait and see if the fog will lift. and getting up high. This fog is just getting thicker. It could be a little dangerous because there are a lot of grizzly bears around here. I am moving really, really slow. Just trying to catch any movement or dark humps out there in the sagebrush. People are always asking me if I get scared when I'm out here and the answer is no, as long as I'm moving quietly, being very observant, doing it this way, and I won't upset the bear with my voice or making noise. So there's really nothing to be afraid of. The difference between what I am doing and other people hiking is I know the grizzly bears are here. I'm not out here hiking and not seeing anything and not thinking there's no grizzly bears around. I know there's grizzly bears around. So I'm doing all the right things. So I'm being very quiet, careful, being very observant and watching for signs. Just like those digs I saw there. Those digs were totally fresh.
So as you can see, there is a grizzly right there in front of me. The grizzly is looking for me. He's about 120 yards away right now. So I'm heading back this way. Starting to clear up. There's a grizzly right here somewhere. I do think the fog is going to clear up. And then we'll see a lot of wildlife maybe. Oh, that was a close one. There's a grizzly right there. He just ran right up through there. Was a case where he spotted me first. I knew there was a grizzly right here somewhere. Anyway, he was like right in there. And he took off running right up into the trees there. Wish I would have seen him because uh, I really like to record that sound of a bear running. Well, that's too grizzly this morning. That's how it goes a lot. A lot of times you don't have time to get your camera out and record anything. I was lucky that I was able to record anything on the first bear this morning. I probably should have uh, moved on out of there and not worried about recording anything, but I stopped there for a second and recorded something. So I'm sitting down, taking a break. Looks like the fog is getting ready to lift. But when I'm sitting here in, in the sagebrush like this, about every 
five to ten minutes, I'll stand up and look around. Because, have you seen this morning? There's been two grizzly bears pretty close in the fog. They're all they're all over out here in the sagebrush, so it's best to always stand up and especially look behind you. Grizzly bears aren't approaching you on purpose, but they may approach approach you and get close to you by accident because they're eating and digging, doing whatever they're doing. And I've had them, as you can see in some of my uh, videos, they'll accidentally walk right up on you. And the way I spot grizzly bears is I'm not sitting here using my monoscope. What I do is I just observe and look for any dark spots. And once I see a dark spot, then I use my monoscope to try to ident identify what it is. So at long distance, the difference between a black spot that is a moose or a bison or a grizzly is a moose and the bison won't be moving very much. They just move very little. A grizzly will always be always be moving. So anytime you see a black spot that's moving, it's a good chance it's a grizzly. Oh, I see some elk right up there on top. Let me see if I can get them. <laughs> 